Hello everyone, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can handle uh, the sliders, jQuery slider using Selenium WebDriver. So the method that we used previously to handle, handle um, you know, the uh, resizable web element, so which is drag and drop. Uh, so for the slider as well, we'll use the same method and there is nothing different as such to handle the slider you just need to use drag and drop provide the web element you know uh, that you want to slide or basically identify the slider so in this case for example here you will see these are the web element that you can you know just uh, left click the mouse and move forward and backward right so we just need to identify these web element and provide the element there and the location where we want to slide. So we want to provide the X and Y coordinates in this case. Okay, so let's uh, perform this. And to do that, what I'll do is I'll simply use the same class. And here, let me uh, just comment that out and I'll copy the same code and use it for the slider okay so we'll simply uncomment that and we'll open the color picker which has a couple of sliders there okay so we'll use that particular location and maximize the frame so here we'll simply because this is in frame again so we'll use that we'll we have to switch to this particular frame this is you know like a frame if you simply inspect it you will see that it is an iframe right so we'll use or we'll switch to that particular frame and then we need to identify the web element that we want to slide right so we'll change this okay so let's use this middle one so i'll just right click on that icon and inspect and simply copy the x path to make it a bit quick and then we'll use that or we'll use that x path and we'll change it to slider okay and this one is basically uh, the green one so we'll simply say green slider here all right now same thing with the action class we'll create an object of the action class and then um, pass on this web element the variable that we have stored in the web element and then we have to use drag and drop so action dot drag and drop uh, the web element and the location where we want to drag and drop so we'll simply uh, identify the location so if i just use the coordinates so at the moment it's at uh, you know approximately 217 126 let me uh, slide it to 100 uh, or maybe just yeah 100 and 125 or yeah something like that right so 100 and 125 so let's change the locator or uh, the coordinates to 100 and 125 okay and just add dot perform to perform this drag and drop okay now let's run it and see that it works as expected so it should open the color picker page uh, switch to that particular frame and resize or move that uh, sorry move the slider accordingly okay so it moved forward okay let's see what went wrong there okay i think um, so this method if we analyze this so we'll say action dot drag and drop with the x offset and y offset okay so we have to provide source and the x offset and the y offset okay so what this does is this basically you know from the current location so wherever you know this particular slider is at the moment okay so from that it will move further you know forward if you if it is you know like positive coordinate so in this case we have provided positive 100 right so if you want to move it back from this current location we have to provide the negative coordinate so what we'll do is we'll simply you know from this coordinate 
wherever it is at currently if i'll say minus 100 and 125 as the y, y coordinate because y coordinate is not changing right if you look closely the y is a it's a horizontal line so y will remain same so i want to move further back say 100 or 125 let's let's move it 100 to its original place and run it and see that the slider moves backward so this should move the slider backward because we have provided the negative x coordinate there which will uh, take the current location of the the web element and move the slider backward so looks like there is again some issue with this website so let me cancel that uh, execution and rerun it and see if it launches the website yeah so you can see that it has moved the slider backwards okay so you have to you know ensure the coordinates that you are providing whether they are you know positive coordinates negative coordinates accordingly so based on where the current web element it is it will move accordingly based on the coordinates x and y coordinates you provide if it is positive it will move uh, in the positive direction if it is negative um, if they are negative coordinates they will move into the negative or the opposite direction so that's pretty much all about how you can handle sliders in selenium webdriver hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching